another video. I have gotten plenty of questions about um, how does my um, prosthetics arm work? More specifically, my about elbow prosthetics arm. How do I go about to wear them? So today, um, I'll go into detail um, to talk about these questions. I guess from right to left, I'll just kind of walk through um, each part. Um, prosthetic hook. Here you have the button. If you press on it lightly, here we go, and you can rotate the prosthetics hook. If you press this button harder, um, they have different attachments are manufactured and designed for different tasks. Cable uh, is throughout the prosthetics, and that cable um, connects to the harness. And on this side, uh, it has it's connected to the hook right here. You can pop it off, but it's very hard to get back on, so I'm not gonna pop it off. So that will use the cable. So ten tension, really like you can see if you push it, and you'll open and close the hook. Here, right here, a rubber band, the pressure. Uh, of opening and closing. So some people like to have more rubber bands to have a stronger grip. Me, um, I only have two and a half uh, rubber bands. I think that's uh, suitable. Since my, I am a above elbow uh, amputee, so I have a prosthetic uh, elbow. You know, so I have another cable right here that's connected to the cable to another harness and just keep walking. So right here, uh, I have the socket. Uh, you see here is a hole right here uh, because uh, they give you this bag kind of thing. So you can uh, wrap that bag, plastic bag uh, like around your residual limb and put it in the, uh, into the, uh, prosthet the prosthetics arm and that and pull the back out that helps you to have a very tight and snug of fitting after amputation your limb uh, tends to shrink over time because of the soft tissues uh, so my prosthetics right now uh, it actually is a lot bigger than my uh, residual limb so uh, there was no need for me uh, to use the bag anymore. Uh, I think in the future, I really make another new socket that fits tighter with my uh, residual end. So this is a fairly simple uh, system. So uh, next I'll show you how I actually uh, wear the prosthetics. So um, this might be disturbing to some people, but it is what it is. So I'll show you how I wear my prosthetics. As I mentioned earlier, because my residual limb has shrinked over time, so my socket is a little bit bigger um, than it should be. So uh, I use a so uh, like a sock uh, here. It's a little uh, thicker. I can't wear on my limb. That makes it fits uh, a little bit. Uh, tighter. So. so I put on the on the sock and here's the prosthetics. Well you can't see this but I like to lay my prosthetics uh, actually on the on the surface on the table or on my bed. And you see um, so I this is the prosthetics and I'll just uh, snug it in like this. Yeah, since my residual limb is a lot smaller than the initial socket, so I don't have to use the, the baggie I talked about to pull it. So there you go, I put this on. There you go, I put this on. And this harness, 
I like to raise my left arm, arm as high as I can, and this side just drops in. See, here you go. Yeah, I found it like by wearing the um, under shirt uh, that helps with the uh, the harness that is not so harsh on my skin. Just like so. so. This is body powered prosthetics. So just like the name suggests, that you use your body to power the uh, prosthetic. So in my case, the cable I mentioned earlier that connects to the, the harness. And this cable right here connects to this harness that controls the mechanical elbow that uses my left shoulder motion to control this cable. And that cable uh, connects to um, the harness. And harness wraps around under my right arm armpits. So I use my right shoulder um, to control the, the hook and general uh, motion of the wing. So here you go. So I'm controlling um, the forearm and I lock it by looking at my left shoulder, this motion, trying to lock this cable. And now it's locked. locked. And now I'm trying to open up the prosthetic um, hooks. See? See? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the content today and you get to uh, kind of see how does my about elbow uh, prosthetic arm work and how do I personally uh, like to put it on. Please let me know if there are any other contents that really interest you or any questions.